All right, apparently their interest is real from Detroit Pistons. They have an in uh, center from the Brooklyn Nets, Nicholas uh, Claxton, which they saying that the Pistons may offer him and get him at $25 million a year, which is getting ridiculous out here in the league. They need some type of standard. I'm all for players getting their money, but the product is suffering in the NBA. Let's let's keep it funky. Um, uh, like when most of y'all take y'all shoes off. Uh, they should be some type of pay scale. You should have to average this, that, and the third or make this many all-NBA teams to get a certain pay. A lot of these dudes getting all this pay, and they can't even dribble. They can't even shoot. They can't even average 10 points, 10 rebounds, 10 points, 10 points, 5 assists. You know what I'm saying? They just throwing money around at guys who don't who don't deserve it. You see what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. You know, I ain't saying Nicholas Claxton. Claxton definitely don't deserve $25 million a year. But to be honest, um, that will kind of indicate that they done with Jalen Duren. And um, if Duren is on the chopping block, then you got to look. Stewart, Ivy, some of these other guys possibly could be on the chopping block as well too. So, um, McClack is as active. He's athletic. He can rebound. He brings some energy to the table. Um, average, what, almost two or three blocks a game or something like that. So, I mean, that's what you build your defense on. So, basically what they're telling you, is they don't, the news, you know, GM is telling you, then it's hard to make a decision when you don't have a head coach. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like they was going to move on from Killian last summer, and Monty was like, no, nah, I think I see something, which we trying to see what he still see. But um, check out Detroit Pistons Talk Playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And before y'all go, oh, well, Duran can play a four. No, he's not a stretch floor. Duran is a five. You know, he's a five. So we're going to, if they targeted Nicholas Claxton, that means Dern is going to back him up or be gone. You know, and unfortunately, you know, uh, I don't know what type of personality he got in the locker room. Works it, what's his work ethic? But a lot of them dudes that come from that Pity Hardaway system is just immature. Wiseman never, you know, got there. And Dern, I mean, all the potential in the world, freak athlete. You know, but. Um, I think he can get there, but then again, I'm not behind the scenes, so they know what type of character and type of work ethic he got behind the scenes. We I, we don't, you know, and defensively, he is that bad. It's an instant upgrade with Nicholas Batum at the center position. Then, who's to say Batum even want to come here? But then, once a young guy like Jalen Duren hear that, most young guys shut down and don't want any part of the organization no more when it don't go that way. That's one of the, you know, back in the day, you know, we growing up, it don't go our way. You know, uh, we when we make it go our way. We find a way. So you don't know kind of which way he going to go with it. He hearing these rumors. They can't play together. Not for an extended period of time, neither. So uh, at the end of the day, I just feel that uh, I feel like this is a strong indication. It's like for me, they were saying that they had interest in this guy, that guy, that guy, this guy. And they didn't have a general manager. That was my issue. You didn't have a general manager, so how can you have a genuine interest in anybody? And you got a general manager, but you don't have a coach, so how do you have a, ge a true, genuine interest in any of the centers or anybody else? That's my thing about it. So that's my thing about it, man. How do you have a true, genuine interest when you don't, um, in my humble opinion, when you don't have a true, you don't have a head coach? You know, so... Like I said before, I think it's interesting for them. Um, uh, Claxton will be an upgrade, but I don't think he got the potential that Duran got. But then we talking about potential that Duran may not ever reach. You know, that he may not ever reach. So, I mean... But, you know, but like I said before, Claxton is a good look. I mean, 25 is excessive, but you're looking at that, this is speeding ticking in the grand scheme of things. What do you average? 11, 10, almost two, three re blocks a game? I mean, yeah, I mean, shit, it is what it is. Energy guy can run up and down the floor. You think Brooklyn will want to retain him, but they figure they got a couple guys they're paying in Bridges, they're paying Cam Johnson, whoever the hell else on that team. They figure out they got to get somebody that can really, you know, really elevate them to the next level in Brooklyn. But I think one of the worst things they did was move to Brooklyn. I think in Jersey, they were Jersey. That was Jersey's thing. You know what I'm saying? They was in the Jersey Nets. Great name. You know, great, you know, great city for them. 
and you compete with New York, that's damn near impossible. No matter if they did what the Knicks did this year or won the championship, Brooklyn can never compete with New York. It's unfortunate that they got put in that position. Uh, I think it was best for them to stay in New York. I mean, stay in Jersey. You know? So, but then again, probably the arenas came into play, and tax dollars and all that, whatever. I don't know what it did. You know, Barclays is nice. I've been there before. Barclays Centers is real nice. You know, you see some beautiful black people up in the Barclays Center for sure. Um, for sure. It's, it's, it's different than going down to uh, Madison, Ma uh, Manhattan, going down to Master Square. It's a whole different type of vibe. You're from Detroit, you like the vibe. <laughs> you're from motherfucking Royal Oak, you like, man, you like the Manhattan vibe. Trust and believe me. I mean, you may like both, you know. Different strokes for different folks, but when I say that the, the, the bad black chicks be at Barclays, the baddies, the New York baddies be there. So, I mean, that's if you went to that. But, but like I said before, um, and moving on from Dern, you know, chances are back then you they didn't want me. He get traded, he hot, and they gonna be, oh man, we would have kept Dern it. I'm telling y'all, but. This Tarzan Langdon ain't pick one of these motherfuckers to be on this team. He ain't pick one of them. So he don't have no ownership to none of them unless he like one of them in the draft or something like that. So I'm telling y'all, the only handcuff that they put on him was probably K. Cunningham got to be here. But we thought he handcuffed Imani. And it sounded like, or, you know, it looked like he was willing to keep Imani. You know, but Tom was like, hell no, nah, man. Tom probably got the sense, like, you know, what you want to do with Imani? He like, hey, cool, we can keep him for now. And Tom was like, nah, you ain't being honest. You ain't being honest. Like, come on, get the fuck up out of here. So, but yeah, I like Nicholas Claxton. I like his art. I think he like 25, too. So, you know, it is what it is. I like to see Duran work out, work out for the Pistons. But, you know, right now, he that defensively bad. Bad is an understatement. Horrible, terrible, atrocious. Anywhere, any adjective wrong in that line. Or worse, that's what he is. And at the end of the day, he ain't been able to stay healthy. Um, so it is what it is. He practicing threes when he need to be practicing picking rolls and, and blocking shots and stuff. So, But, hey, let me know what y'all think. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. When I'm only on Spotify and Anchor on this channel. But, hey, check them out the channel. Get the TV. All the links in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. But, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But I'm finding them hard pressed to really be linked to players and don't have a head coach. And you what a week or two away from the draft, Friday night, even that. So they hustling backwards in Detroit already. Peace.